atmosphere that permeated Court 26 of the Port Elizabeth Magistrates Court this morning, where Magistrate Abigail Beaton delivered judgment on the bail application of Christopher Paniotto. Let's now cross live to our reporter on the scene, Janine Lee. Janine, a very good morning to you and welcome. Thanks very much, Elvis. The words that everyone to, everybody wants to hear, bail has been denied to Christopher Panayotu. When Magistrate Beaton read out her judgment this morning, there was applause from the Ings family, Jade's family. There was applause, and the fam family of Christopher Panayotu just left the court. And as we have mentioned before, the magistrate will only give the reasons for this ruling on the 12th of June. That will be next week. She just came in. She read out a very brief judgment and the, the outcome was no bail to Christopher Paniotu. And in light of the fact that um, it was alluded to yesterday that his defence advocate had said that he had received letters with death threats in jail, perhaps in hindsight this may be a blessing and he might be safer behind bars than if he was out on bail. But we will only know the reasoning and why she made this particular re ruling next week on the 12th of June. And he will have another uh, court appearance with his other two co-accused on the 19th of June. But for now, he will stay behind bars, Elvis. And possibly from his defence team, we may expect an appeal on this, this judgment of no bail. But we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Now, any reaction from the Panayoto family or from the Ings for that matter? The Ings family were really happy. They clapped and they, they smiled when the magistrate Beaton read out that there would be no bail. And obviously for the Panayotu family, um, dejected and disappointed that their, their son, their brother, their, their uncle, nephew will not be getting bail. But, um, you know, you, you can't keep everyone happy in, in this kind of case. And for now, it's the Ings family that um, feel justified that he will be behind bars for the crime that he is accused of. And that, that is masterminding the murder of Jade Panayotu. Just to give us an update, Janine, uh, just to, to, to venture off from Panayotu itself, his other co-accused, what is happening with them at the moment? At this stage, they have not applied for bail at all. They will make another appearance in this magistrate's court on the 20, on, I beg your pardon, on the 19th of June, and they will appear with him, with Panayotu, also on the 19th of June. So they will all be in court on that date. But as yet, neither of them have applied for bail at all. We're not sure if they will apply for bail, but we know that Vuma Zonke, he has a case pending against him, so I don't think that he can apply for bail. But whether Sioli will apply for bail at this stage, we, there's been no indication of that. But all three of them, Elvis, back in court on the 19th of June. Now, for people that might have missed the story up until now, can you maybe just take us back? Where did it all start for Christopher Paniotto and his co-accused? We'll have to go back to September last year, Elvis. That was when the plan to murder Jade Panayoto was originally hatched. There were two botched attempts on her life. The third attempt was successful, and that was on the 21st of April, where she was abducted from outside her townhouse, put into the boot of a car, driven to Utenag, where she was shot twice in the back and once in, in the back of the head. And since then, we've had an appearance by Christopher Panayotti and his two other co-accused. And um, the last two and a half weeks have been taken up with a stop-start bail hearing, this particular bail hearing, of Panayotu. The state claiming that because Panayotu has a Cyprian passport, that he is a flight risk and the possibility that he may interfere with witnesses. That was their argument why he should not get bail. And for the defense, they said nonsense. They rubbished all the claims by the state. They said that Panayotu was not a flight risk. They said if he was going to flee, he would have been able to to do so before he had been imprisoned at St Albans prison. So it's, it's been a back and forth um, sort of affair up until now and very much a stop start kind of jail uh, uh, bail application Elvis. But finally some, some conclusion here. But I think now we're going to look ahead and possibly wait to see if there's going to be an appeal by his defence team which will go through the High Court. Once again, thank you so much, Janine, for that breaking news there from the Port Elizabeth court. There's no bail for Christopher Panayoto. Let's now take a break, and we'll be right back after that.